Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. This is Dot, my rescue puppy. That is her peanut butter for the morning. And this is our brief daily message of hope. And I pray you're in a good place today as we make our way into the month of August as uh, the year 2022 uh, is uh, spiraling on. And uh, I guess in a linear direction, we're not sure yet. But uh, I've been thinking this morning, I've been doing some reading about the James Webb uh, satellite uh, that is sending such incredible photographs, infrared photos uh, from uh, uh, the far reaches of uh, the universe. We're looking uh, farther out than we've ever looked before. The, the James Webb uh, satellite is fascinating, just reading about it. Uh, it's uh, in an orbit between uh, the Earth and the Sun, about 932,000 miles away, uh, where the gravitational pull uh, between the Earth and the Sun is uh, uh, about equal, so it stays where it is. Uh, and so we're getting some uh, incredible photographs uh, that are showing up all over the Internet now, things we've never seen before. And what is the most amazing thing uh, to me as a priest, a theologian, a uh, historian, uh, and most of all, I guess, as a musician, <laughs> uh, is that uh, we're not really looking that far out. Uh, the, the James Webb satellite stays in the same place. It doesn't go out into space to take these pictures. It receives light uh, that has been traveling through space at the speed of light. 186,000 miles per second. Uh, and so we're, in effect, looking backwards in time. We're looking as far as, uh, they say, 13.5 billion uh, light years away. Uh, and they're saying that uh, the universe really is only, you know, I learned it when I was in uh, uh, studying science in college that uh, the universe was about that old, 13 or so billion years old, and they've fluctuated billions of miles in either direction, but what's a few billion miles between friends? Uh, we're looking backwards in time to things that may not even exist now. The light that was exploding from those galaxies and star systems uh, 13.5 billion years ago, uh, has traveled that long just to get to us, to the James Webb satellite. It's a pretty big universe and pretty far back in time that we're looking to something that may not even be there. Uh, but we know who is in that position and who's there and who's here is one who created all of this. Uh, to me, looking at these photographs reminds me of how awesome our God is. And it's understandable why Paul, in writing to Timothy in his first letter, uh, said this uh, uh, in, in uh, chapter 1, verse 17. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever, immortal, invisible, God only wise. A great hymn from the middle of the 19th century by George C. Smith. Wonderful, immortal, invisible. so long ago, but we remember that God is the one who created all things. Those vast star systems, galaxies that we're seeing today from billions of light years into the past were created by the God who created you and who created me. Remember, he loves you, he's with you, and with all that awesome power to create all these things, all life, uh, from the beginning until now and through the end of time. Uh, he chose to love you and me. Trust in him today. The one who created all those things is right there with you. And remember, he loves you with his whole heart. God bless you and Dodd and I hope to see you here again tomorrow.